Hello, everybody. Today is the day that I have been waiting for two years. And I would like to start it with uh, one simple word, convenience. Convenience is the thing that differs, that make a useful thing different from the thing that is stored on a shelf. Convenience makes favorites. Convenience is what making Apple the biggest company in the world, and it is two times bigger than the whole crypto industry. So why on earth Web3 companies are doing the same mistake over and over again and thinking only about technology and not thinking about convenience and then crying because of the absence of the mass adoption? I invite you to the journey, to the final chapter of the journey that Aurora has been going through for the past two years. Yeah. The journey to bring convenience back to the blockchain and make sure that it is going to stay there forever. And the first part of this journey is the platform. We all need to understand that blockchain is a platform. It is a place where users meet businesses and together they produce value. It is super important to have this platform convenient for both sides or these sides are not going to come there. I'm a user of an iPhone and it is convenient for me to use it because it syncs all the data across the devices and has enough applications to cover my needs. I'm also a CEO of a tech company, and it is convenient for me to develop applications for iPhone because App Store is one of the biggest distribution channels that exist. And it is exactly convenience that we are missing right now in the blockchain space. Users are undergoing the hell of an onboarding. They need to do KYC, use fiat on ramps or centralized exchanges. They also need to bridge their tokens. And all of this is just to perform some transactions on the applications that they would like to use. It's time to tell that multi-chain world is also a problem. It translates into ordinary users as a disjointed world. It, it implements complications for businesses too, because they don't understand where to deploy. They are subjected to the problems that are caused by other businesses that are operating on the same network. It is time for us to say that blockchain failed. Say it and move from it and learn from it and bring back convenience into the equation. I'm super happy to announce that today we're launching a brand new product that is called Aurora Cloud. Aurora Cloud is uh, not just a single product. It is a set of products that brings back convenience into Web3 ecosystem. It is developed for businesses and users to make it simple to work with the blockchain. It uses all of the convenient Aurora technology battle-tested for over two years. And it consists of multiple pieces. And the first and foremost is Aurora silos. So Aurora silos are the deployments of the Aurora blockchains. Think of it as forks of Aurora. They are deployed and they can be customized. They're using the industry first notions of custom gas tokens with customized model. 
with applications that are able to have zero gas fees or that are consuming a portion of the value of the transfer. It also gives an opportunity for the creators to limit the usage of the blockchain to, for example, NFT holders. So the access to the blockchain together with the ability to deploy smart contracts can be controlled. And besides that, it comes up with all of the ordinary things that you experienced on the Aurora blockchain. Aurora silos are by default integrated with Rainbow Bridge. They are working with Aurora Plus and explorers that are available in the Aurora ecosystem. They are using efficient and scalable RPCs that are available in the Aurora ecosystem, together with other infrastructure projects like indexing protocols and oracles. Any of 230 applications that are working currently on the Aurora blockchain can be seamlessly deployed on any Aurora silo instance within minutes. And of course, as any application on top of near blockchain, it is by default integrated with BOSS. A reasonable question that can come from you at this point is, OK, just uh, yet another solution to, um, to bring more blockchains to the world, similar to Polkadot, Cosmos, or Avalanche subnets. It is half true, but it is very, very wrong because of a one simple thing. And this thing was with us for over two years. And this thing is the architecture of Aurora. We've made a conscious decision two years ago to develop Aurora as a smart contract on top of near blockchain. This means that the deployment of Aurora silo is just a deployment of a smart contract. It doesn't need to have separate, usually, very small amount of validators that it is going to run on. Aurora silos work directly on the whole near network, and they are secure by the whole set of near validators. And together with the rainbow bridge that makes near an L2 to Ethereum, any instance of Aurora silo is an L2 to Ethereum. By default, from the first block of existence of the silo. The, the presence of Aurora silos inside of the near blockchain give also an additional feature, and this is the ability to do the cross-contract calls in between silos. We have launched the cross-contract calls feature on the near con in September last year, and it was built specifically to allow the transactions coming from one silo to another. You can easily think of the use cases like cross-aggregation of the AMMs over multiple Aurora silos. They are not disjointed. They are interconnected and composable. This is a major difference. That's why we believe that Aurora silos and uh, Aurora Cloud as a whole is defining a new category. We call it blockchain containers. We don't know any other solution that is presented on the market that is able to provide the same features and the same functionality as Aurora silos. And obviously, this product is possible because of the true infinite scalability that is provided by the underlying near protocol. But that's not the only product. It is convenient. Aurora silos are convenient. They are convenient for businesses. But what about users? Today, we announced the launch of Aurora Pass, an innovative Web3 wallet that is going to work directly with all Aurora silos 
with Aurora mainnet and also with Near. This wallet completely changes the game of the Web3 wallets. We remove the per transaction fee as a concept forever from the blockchain. There is no per transaction fees in this wallet and user are able to, users are able to use it without KYC, without anything, just install the application and transact on the blockchain hassle-free. But obvious question is who is paying the fees, right? So the answer to this question is an additional product in the Aurora Cloud set of products which is called Aurora Borealis. And this is a dashboard for applications to pay for the fees of the users who are going to transact with their smart contracts. This is so straightforward and convenient model that we almost forget about it from the Web2 background that we have. Every time when I'm watching YouTube, I pay attention only to the business model of the application. I either watch ads or pay five bucks per month for the subscription. I do not pay a fraction of a cent to Cloudflare for, uh, for the request that is delivered to me. I do not pay a fraction of a cent to the CDN network and so on. We believe that the future of the blockchain is in ability for the applications to include inside themselves the payment to the protocol, the payment to the infrastructure. And that's why we're launching Aurora Borealis. Obviously, not all of the application developers would be ready for this from the day one to pay for their users. And that's why there is a fallback scenario in Aurora Pass, and this is an ability to buy transactions or subscribe to an access to the blockchain directly on the user level. This feature is not connected with any crypto transactions. This feature is going to work with ordinary means of payments like Apple Pay or Stripe. Aurora Borealis is available starting today. And many applications on Aurora Mainnet already started to use it. So today, everyone on Aurora Network is going to see that some of the transactions that you're usually sending became free, independently of the fact that you are an Aurora Plus user or not. Aurora, thank you. Aurora Pass is going to be launched before the end of April on, for both Android and iPhone devices. Later in spring, it is going to be released as an extension to, to the browsers. So here it is, Aurora Cloud, a set of absolutely new tools that were well thought through from the very beginning of the existence of Aurora, that were planned in the architecture of Aurora, and we are absolutely proud to present this to you and make it available for everyone. I also would like to say big thanks to the Aurora engineering um, team who made Britney this Spears. possible. Uh, they are true fighters who have been fighting through all of the hustles to make the blockchain world convenient for everybody. And uh, you're able to see uh, Aurora Cloud <laughs> no, I already think there, in right? production, deployed today on the near network, and go through all of the features in more detail yep. on auroracloud.dev right now. Thank you very much.